Chapter 221, Pixie U Treasure Jar, 1. Li Kai coming out with arrogant claptrap left everyone speechless. The Heavenly Southern Kingdom was a very ancient existence, and Immortal Emperor Fiang originated from it. One had to know that Immortal Emperor Fiang was absolutely one of the greatest immortal emperors throughout the ages. Legend has it that the appearance of his flying banner was capable of refining the world and suppressing a myriad of worlds. This brat is truly lawless, he doesn't not care about a thing. Even an older cultivator couldn't help but murmur, Nanshan Hudu, as a national teacher, was definitely not an own name, an eight palace sanction saint, a grand Dao saint, how heaven defying was this? This kid does not know life from death. At this time, a cold scowl emerged, a royal aura ignited as a person chillingly spoke. Do you really think you are invincible just because of a few treasures on your body? At this moment, six royal experts' voids kept on the air to arrive followed by six cavalries as smooth as the flowing water. They were completely in sync as if the six cavalries were part of the six royal experts. The six experts were the heads of the dragons while the six cavalries were the dragon bodies swimming in the air, the six giant Zuo kings. Seeing the six cavalries smoothly following every little action of the six royal experts, a person emotionally exclaimed, the six wise monarchs formation. Legend has it that the six giant Zuo kings have the array map left behind by wise monarch giant Zuo. Seeing these six royal experts, a person muttered, many people turned pale at the sight of the six giant Zuo kings. From an ancient saint's perspective, just one of them was nothing to be fearful of, but the six of them together was a different story. It signaled the coming of a six wise monarchs formation. This was the clan's defining formation that was created by an invincible wise monarch, extremely heaven defying. Li Kai had seen Jiang Zuo Hu's six wise monarchs formation before. Of course, Jiang Zuo Hu's formation was not comparable to the six kings formation. Jiang Zuo Hu's was only a minor formation at best while the formation of the six kings was the real six wise monarchs formation. Li Kai glanced at the six kings and calmly exclaimed, This is none of your business. Li Kai's reaction left everyone without words. It seemed as if there was no one in this world that the kid wouldn't bluster against. Brat, do you want to die? The six kings became livid as their eyes immediately became serious. The six royal experts stepped out, and the grand formation also followed with a momentum that wanted to kill Li Kai. It was not strange for the six kings to want to kill Li Kai. More than 1,000 disciples, along with Jiang Zuo Hu, were buried by Li Kai, and their clan had always wanted vengeance. Today, they naturally would not let him go on this chance meeting. Junior, for insulting my kingdom. It is not too late to bow your head and apologize right now, otherwise, don't even dream about leaving this place alive. At this time, Nanshan Hu Du chillingly glared at Li Kai with an oppressing aura, in his eyes. Li Kai was already a fish caught in the net. Nanshan Hu Du's words left annoyance in the hearts of many cultivators and small sects, along with criticisms. Young King Nanshan clearly backstabbed Li Kai first, but he was not Li Kai's match. Now, Li Kai had to apologize, even though they were agitated, they couldn't do anything. The big sects and powerful nations had always protected their own, to them, right or wrong did not matter. Death was the only option for their oppositions. Li Kai then smirked and said, It is not difficult to make me leave. Hand me little brat Nanshan's head. Then I will leave without saying a word. Young King Nanshan was absolutely livid with anger as he was being treated to the side while his entire body was shaking all over. He was a genius of the Grand Middle Territory, the paragon of a younger generation. He was incomparable to anyone. Today, his life and death sounded like such an insignificant matter from the mouth of Li Kai. How could he not be vomiting blood from anger? Teacher, why waste words with him? Just capture him. Young King Nanshan gravely continued, let him understand that there is only death for provoking our kingdom's prestige. Nanshan Hu then towered over Li Kai and proclaimed, It is too late for you to leave now, unless you cripple your arms and legs along with your cultivation. My kingdom will then be benevolent and spare your life. Your bullshit is full of stench. Li Kai uttered a long roar with his surging blood energy. He swung his two hands downward with an incalculable power like the suppression of many sacred mountains. Cease. Nanshan Hu also shouted as his palace gate opened wide and moved to cover over Li Kai. Boom. Li Kai's arms disintegrated the surrounding earth as mountains collapsed. But it did not harm Nanshan Hu Du the tiniest bit. Moreover, the world in front of Li Kai had changed. There was no heavenly ancient corpse burial ground nor the underworld river. Before him was a vast world, and his powerful blow earlier struck on top of this endless expanse. And at this time, eight fate palaces appeared on top of Nanshan Hu Du's head. The master palace was the largest, and the other seven fate palaces revolved around the master. The eight palaces were able to form their own world and kingdom, and it sucked Li Kai inside in just a flash. Li Kai's attack only struck the inside of this world and could not hurt Nanshan Hu Du. Eight palaces forming a kingdom. Seeing such a scene, everyone became horrified. This was the frightening part of an eight palace ancient saint. Cultivators had three chances throughout their lives to open fate palaces. This meant that once they reached the ancient saint realm, they would have four fate palaces. This was an absolute requirement for becoming an ancient saint. But to the geniuses, four fate palaces was only the bare minimum. The more fate palaces one had guaranteed more power and a higher path in the future. Perhaps, it will be a path where they could shoulder the heavens will and become an immortal emperor. Four palaces formed a domain. Eight palaces formed a kingdom and twelve palaces formed the heavens. People feared eight palace ancient saints because they could slay their enemies without doing anything. The eight palace grand Dao saints were heaven defying. Their kingdom formed from the eight palaces would obtain the kingdom's power to defeat their enemies without using treasures and merit laws. Eight palaces forming a kingdom, resulting in a power capable of repelling ten thousand enemies, truly frightening. 
An ancient saint from the previous generation exclaimed after seeing Li Kai sucked inside the Eight Palaces world. Against such a powerful opponent like this, even he himself couldn't do anything except run away. Trapped inside a kingdom, Li Kai looked around to see the magnificent scenes with mountains and rivers, and endless vitality. It was as if there were countless living beings inhabiting and worshipping this expanse. Brat, today is your funeral. At this point, the sound of Nanshan Hu do echoed from above inside this world. His voice was extremely commanding. Inside this world created by the eight palaces, he was the supreme existence, a god with unchallengeable authority. After his voice descended, a huge fist encompassing the sky followed and aimed towards Li Kai. Break for me. Li Kai roared and his life wheel rotated with the undulating yin yang sea of blood. The blood moon and sun appeared as the Kunpang traversed the sky. The two arms of Li Kai swung out and were accompanied by the two Kunpang's wings right behind them, just like two divine blades slicing this piece of world. Boom, boom. However, Li Kai's fists that contained an immeasurable power were still not able to destroy the giant fist in the sky. If Li Kai's power was able to split a sacred mountain, then this giant fist had the power of an entire world because this was the eight palaces world of Nanshan Hudu. Compared to an entire world, Li Kai was only an insect. How could he compete against all the accumulated energy in this place? Rumble yee, under the grinding pressure of the giant fist, Li Kai switched from offense to defense. His two hands pushed up against the sky and the oncoming giant fist, but even his hell-suppressing godly physique was not able to stop the kingdom's power. A burst of intense noises resounded as the earth below Li Kai's feet began to fragment. Crank, crank, crack. The splintering of the earth could even be heard by the cultivators outside. With Li Kai at the center, a huge section of earth below his feet started to split open. Another loud boom. The giant fist's pressure increased, and half of Li Kai's body was underground. His two hands were bent from the suppression as his bones throughout his entire body were rattling as if they could break into pieces at any moment. At this time, Li Kai's face was flush red. Even with a complete explosive exertion of his power, it was still not enough to stop this giant fist that was pressing down on him. This was the power of this world. Li Kai had no way to stop it while being inside. Grand Dao Saint. How can anyone resist the power of the Eight Palaces Kingdom? Seeing such a scene, not to mention enlightened beings, even ancient saints turn pale like a piece of paper. Meeting a Grand Dao Saint, even a grand accomplishment Grand Saint would have to run for they were not a match. This brat truly cultivated a supreme immortal physique. He's still not dead while under the crushing power of the kingdom. Many cultivators were envious of Li Kai who was still managing to struggle. A supreme immortal physique, ha. Huh? This was a drool-inducing item to countless people. A younger cultivator sneered and commented, So what if it is a supreme immortal physique? He's still dying under the power of an A-Palace ancient saint. This foolish thing tried to oppose a grand Dao saint with such a shallow cultivation, truly not knowing the immensity of the heaven and earth. Young King Nanshan, after seeing Li Kai's painful struggle, was quite happy. He also sneered and said, HMPH, Supreme Immortal Physique, he's still only struggling against his death at the moment. Junior, hand over your Supreme Immortal Physique and I will spare your life. Otherwise, I will slowly torture you until you hand it over. At that time, you will come to understand a fate where living is worse than death. Inside the A Palace's kingdom. Nanshan Hudu's voice came down like the lord of this territory who reigned over the lives of all existences within. There was no doubt that Nanshan Hudu was tempted by Li Kai's immortal physique and was not in a rush to kill. He chose to slowly grind down on Li Kai instead. Don't be so arrogant. Li Kai's face turned red. He was still powering his own fists, and he sneered and said, The outcome is still undecided. 